family. Hey, a Texas organization dedicated to preserving our veteran stories, and every veteran has a story to tell, as our SA Live's Mimi Gomez found out. If you went to the South Pacific, I stayed over there till the war was over, <laughs> and I couldn't hardly get back. Meet Bill Petrie, a sonar operator in the Navy during World War II. You sit there in front of a console, an electric console, and it showed you all the things that were going on out there, you know, all the noises, what the noises meant. And... At 90 years old, he remembers many details of his days as a military officer. But besides his family and close friends, no one has ever heard his story, let alone saved it until now. This is a very unique program we have here that's part of the Texas Veterans Land Board, and it exists to uh, honor our veterans for their service and to save their stories for posterity. For over an hour, a member of the Voices of Veterans Oral History Program listens, records, and archives the veterans' military experience. They'll get a lot of information that they didn't have before. So we want to save these for future generations so people can study them and, and listen to them, learn from them, hopefully. Uh, for years to come. A couple weeks later, a copy of the interview, along with a certificate from Commissioner Bush, is sent to the interviewee. We keep an electronic copy, but also a hard copy for our archives, and we post that on our website. I think it's really important. I'll tell you why. My father was a 100% disabled World War I veteran, and I, I sent it to the uh, Art National Archives in St. Louis to get his records. They burned up in the fire. Now, he had 14 machine gun bullets in his body. He had a silver plate in his head where uh, part of the uh, brain was and blind in one eye. He uh, had a war shoe built up like that. As a matter of fact, the Germans saved his life. The Americans passed him up, and the Germans picked him up, and he was a German prisoner of war, and they doctored him up. And so that's the reason why I think that it's important to, for these guys to get their story out. What's been the biggest barrier you guys have encountered in, in the quest for all this information? It's just getting the word out. Some uh, have had to face combat and others have not, but everyone has a unique story, just like every person is different, every story is different, and we want to save all of those. To have a veteran story archived, neither branch nor rank matter. However, he or she does have to live in Texas. For more information, you can log on to the link below. For SA Live, Mimi Gomez.